because IGG is not new. The State House Ant Corruption Unit, there is the Auditor General's Office at the headquarters and the Auditor General's Office in every district. There are district auditors in every district. There is the Whistleblowers Act. Allowing any one of you to tell the country, to tell the authority around you of any irregularities. So who is to blame? And the answer, we are all to blame. This is a time to make it a turning point and fight without fear or favor. But some of the leaders, you also rub shoulders with the civil servants. You rub shoulders, some of you demand money. I'm about to come here to handle a case which I'm delegated to do in this region. We are not lacking the laws, we are not lacking the regulations, and we are laxed thinking there is someone who will do it for me. If that stops, I think, yes, we can, we can overcome corruption. And you know that besides all what you have talked, God comes first. It is the heart to which religion talks. Corruption is in the heart, corruption is in the mind. And how can you make your mind correct in your heart? I am not very much convinced if the efforts to fight corruption is practical or it is only theory. A recent study commissioned by the Uganda Inspectorate for Government on the Cost of Corruption showed that Uganda loses 9.1 trillion shillings, that's 2.5 billion US dollars, to corruption. This is equivalent to 44% of the total government of Uganda revenue in 2019. So where is this corruption occurring? According to the cost of corruption study, approximately 2.3 trillion shillings is lost annually due to absenteeism in the health and education sectors. This absenteeism denies the public access to services while employees get paid for work that they're not doing. Additionally, about 614 billion shillings or 173 million US dollars was lost in the procurement processes. If they are invited, I'm sorry, reported to us, we investigate them. We have prosecuted so many of these so-called big fish. But sometimes the small fish actually becomes the big fish. <laughs> but in, in investigation, we don't categorize that this is this and this, all this, and this, there are records. If we get the reports, we back to parliament. If you come to our office and the various regional offices across the country, the office, we are handling this fish 